Welcome to Fishing Dorset Live. All right, Shane, Fishing Dorset Live. Bit so a bit different today. We're out on a charter boat today. We're out on Chopsy Charter, uh, which is Malcolm's boat. Uh, I think it's an offshore 105, but Malcolm will run you through the whole process of that, guys. Uh, we're basically targeting anything today. Got a few hours out this evening. Malcolm had a bit of a free slot, so he invited us out. So basically, I'll film on the way to the boat. I'll give you a quick look at the harbour. This is Fisherman's Dock. Inside Port Harbour. Back there is the old RLI station. And the water is crystal clear. Look at those scallop shells down there. Right, let's go over to Malcolm. But yeah, 30 degrees today. It's really hot. But yeah, most like the average customer where the white boat over there rocket is there's like a white hut that's where all the charter trips leave from so if you're a tourist or visiting that's where the charter trips leave from but there's some beautiful boats in the harbour and there's plenty of mullet around here as well absolutely stacks of mullet As well, come over there. He's just getting his boat ready. There he is. Gets a wave belt. Loads of little fish down there. Loads. Right, here we are. Here she is. There you go, guys. You want to book a trip up? It'll be all in my description and the link. Chopsy Charters, guys. There he is, Captain Milk. Oi. Right, let's get aboard. Put my gear down. What I'll do, guys, I'll get everything set up and I'll give you a look around the boat. And I'll get Malcolm to run free. Horse power down rated to 430 on an inch and three quarter shaft, bolted onto a, a five blade propeller which was made in America for Michigan props. Top speed fully loaded with a thousand quid's worth of diesel is 26 knots with 10 people on board. But we like to cruise around about eight knots so uh, we don't, don't need a fuel tanker to follow us, <laughs> which is uh, quite economical. One of the best ones in the market for this sort of industry at the moment. You might have boats with two of them in. I've got a mate over there who's got a dive boat, he's got two of these in them. And they sound a bit juicy, and they can be juicy if you fl go flat out. But if you look after them like any car, they'll last you forever. Our service is three times a year, 800 quid a time. Nice. <laughs> well, I'll just give a quick look around here. Right, there we go, guys and then I'll get inside the cabin in a minute, we'll show you all the gear, and then we're gonna get underway. Hi, right, Topsy Charters. My boat is a 32 foot offshore 32, built in 1984. It's one of the original charter boats. Um, it was the model before the offshore 105s, which are really popular, built in Cornwall, for the fishing round of the Atlantic there and off the coast of Silly Isles. Uh, built stronger than the offshore 105s um, but there's not many of them around at the moment anymore although it's a 1984 boat it's got an engine in there which has only been in there three years and it's an Iveco 450 horsepower um, top speed 26 knots we have two ship to shore VHF radios the channel we have in here in pools on number 72 is for the charter boats number 14 on the other radios the port of pool where they all the shipping will go in and out and all the ferries 
We've got a lower rinse fish finder here. It's only a small one. It does the job, and obviously because we're on low tide on the mooring at the moment, it's not really showing a great deal. Um, but I want to upgrade that anyway. Then we've got the lower rinse chart plotter in there. You hit the menu, you, you hit your waypoints, and it'll come up of all your marks where you want to go to, and you hit go to, and basically, it's just like having a sat nav in a car. It will take you to it, which is quite good. And then we've got another one again, which is a Garmin touchscreen. I don't really like this one that much, so I don't use it. So I'll just literally use it for an extra backup for that. So basically everything goes from that one. But I'm gonna be, be changing that one because up there I've got a really old original radar. It still works, but I don't that. like it. It's, it's huge. This is a beast. It is huge, it works. I have to have it because of the coding. Um, but like I've got a new unit, new radar. So that one will be going that will be, that radar's gone. And there's a new unit going just there. Got all the dials, which tells what everything does. Let's just let you know the engine's ready to start. You've got all the gauges up there. When I put the light on, you still won't see it, but you'll see it later on. Gives you everything, oil pressure, water pressure, gearbox pressure, fuel, everything. This one tells you uh, the temperature and the oil pressure in the gearbox. That's the volts going through, it's a 24 volt system. And obviously then you've got the engine temperature on there. And obviously this is the revs and everything else and tells you how many hours the engine's done. Okay, Sweet. got a, a light cabin heater down here. Obviously on today when it's nearly 30 degrees that won't be being used. Compass, various fire extinguishers everywhere. Under there is just basically like a tool shed. Just like a grown man shed full of junk. But it's a it's necessity junk and I know where everything is. And up here we have the all important kettle it takes a while to do this that runs off 12 volts so we switch it on and it takes roughly 20 minutes half hour to warm up got hooks general bits and pieces for fishing all these little holes are for the cups to go in so when you're at sea making your coffee put your cups in there and away you go full of sugar sugar lumps for the horses <laughs> and then they've got various weights it's a bit messy, yes, because obviously it's working every day and some evenings as well. And then out the back there, we have a brand new bait table where the rods are sitting in now. The table was made from a company called Stainless Steve down in Limington. And um, yeah, so he made the table and all the rod holders and the rod holders on the side. The big net at the back is his as well. But the actual table cutting board was made by another firm down in Hampshire called Hooked and Messy, and they do everything. If you want something made out of that, they'll just do it for jet skis, they do it for call boxes, your vans, the lot. They are expensive, but they you get it done once and they're made to last. Well, and it's got four batteries under the under the hatch under there. Four heavy duty batteries, 140 pound each. So uh, yeah, so I'm ready to go fishing. Talk about you. I'm ready to go as well, Mel. Right, let's start this bad boy up. A bit noisy, but that's what you get for a, a large engine. Right, I'll bring you back guys, as soon as we get going and we can have a chat with Milk about his trips, prices and what's involved. Right, I've just setting off now, Malcolm has just run through our safety briefing, life ring there, another life ring there, also a 12 man, life raft, obviously if the boat goes down, that inflates itself, so there we go, we're just leaving. Well, basically a new marina really, this is quite new before. Obviously a lot of people won't get to see this but that's, that little white hut there is where you get the charter trips from. But there's some absolutely beautiful boats in here. Obviously this video could be potentially quite a long video guys. But it's all content, it's promoting Malcolm's boat as well showing you what he does, where he goes, what he catches. The old sun sinker there. Look at that. Wouldn't mind going fishing on that.
difficult at minutes. <laughs> but yeah, we, we, we ain't got the best tide. We're officially an outgoing tide. size of that charter boat. <laughs> She's a beast. Absolute beauty. That's obviously a new marina to pull a few years old now. But that is an absolute beauty from Georgetown. Absolute beauty. place and whatever else is about guys we're going to give it a good shot let's see if we can pull a bass in mackerel's uh malcolm's going to get the mackerel feathers out just see if anything's about right let's get fishing all right we just finished on christchurch there's nothing come out of there like i said we are on a neat tide um we've now ripped out to south we're going for rays bream place anything that swims guys now we're, doing the, the, we're going to put the other bait down from the rays it's the same as how you do it in with the channel islands for your turbot yeah Hook it through once in the towel. Yeah, I got your mouth. But yeah, straight on the ugly stick GX2s. Ragworm tip squid. Um, it's like a wishbone sort of rig. I've just started the live stream up as well. Malcolm's already got one out. But Southbourne's there in the background, guys. Malcolm's got some beautiful rag there from Port Harbour. Absolute beauties. We're so close into the beach. We've got some nice paddle boarders beside yeah. us. And we've got <laughs> squid. And mackerel. Frozen mackerel, because the mackerel are scarce now. Yeah, mackerel are very scarce around this way at the moment. Right, let's get into the fishing, guys. Hopefully we can bring you back with a bit of content. Yeah, I'm busy. Oh, it's a big fish. There we go, first gurnard. Oh. Bernard the gurnard. There we go, first, there we go, first drop. Lovely little gurnard there. That was on the rag, tip of squid. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get them back guys and then hopefully we can get some big rays or big place. Right, so we've got a side of mackerel on this one. They're all GX2 ugly sticks. That one there. Rag, tip squid and Malcolm's. They are mine. 
Those yeah. Are, these are your two. Oh, eh? Got yeah. the wrong two. Yeah. <laughs> but there we go. Just one Bernard to start with. We're drifting quite steady, probably about just over, a, uh, just over a knot we're drifting at. It's nice in the sun, it broke down along there. But there we go, what a view, look at that. Everyone plays fishing. But it is, it's, it's still humid, really humid. But let's see if we can pull a ray out from here, that's what we're hoping for. Nice big rail, nice big place. Hey Jeff, or is it weed? Is it weed or is it a fish? No, no. Malcolm's getting a nice little tap on that one. But yeah, it's, this is about as flat as it'll get. Look at it, like a mill pond. That round the other rod is so shallow. Right, there you go, Malcolm's in. I think there's a place. Yeah. Yes, it's got a place. And the other rod. <laughs> That's my rod. No, these are my rods. <laughs> no, they're sitting on the bottom, we're that shallow. <laughs> We're in about eight foot of water, guys. Mount's got a beautiful place there. Well done, Mount. First one. That's Malcolm's first fish. Absolute beauty. Beautiful colours on them as well. I was trying yeah. to the live stream as well, Mount. Oh, he's taking that down. Look at the red spots on that. Absolute beauty. Well done, Mount. I'll show you the live stream, guys, and then we'll pop him back. Right, Malcolm's got this nice little hook and he's just going to drop it back. Look at that, she's a beautiful little place. Good condition. Yeah, it is. Very well. Yeah, look at the oh, red spots on that, mate. Pull it back. Well away. done, buddy. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't hang about. Like a Russian missile. Right, not a bad start. One going off me, one place for Malcolm. Um, we're going to make a move. We're going to steam over a bit closer to old Harry, um, to Ray Grounds that he knows. There's a fish just jumped over there, Mel. But yeah, fish has just broke the surface over there. But yeah, we're going to steam out. We're going to try another patch, um, which is Ray Grounds, hopefully. And anything else that's around there. Hope so. Fish on. <laughs> right, straight on the new mark. First drop down, Mel comes in. Look at the sweat coming off his forehead. Let's go here, beast. No, it's not. Nah. It is a doggy. It is a dog. Oh my god. It's got a woofer. As well. Of all the fish to catch. Oh, that's a start. It's a fish. Yeah, it's a fish. I hate them. As long as it ain't pout or white, you make. That's what I always say. Now, with these little monsters, you got to hold them properly. I showed you on live stream as well, Mel. They, like, they love it. got to hold them. They're all muscle. You've got to hold them like that. Because one way is smooth, and the other way, like sandpaper, nice and rough. they cut you like that. You won't feel it today, but tomorrow morning you'll think, "Oh, that hurts!" It's like you've been stung by a wasp. Nice one, Mel. Nice, right, they? here we go. Mel comes in again. Beautiful little smooth bound. Look at that. She's a beast. Just need the bigger ones. But we're absolutely again hammered by brain bites. Absolutely hammered. They're tapping away up there. We had an 11 pound one the other week. And keep it going. We are trying for rays, but that rod there's got a hold back or side on. Rag and squid tip on that side. Nice one, Mel. Ooh, ooh. All right. Ooh, he wants to go. He's done. God, look at him go. Beautiful. Right, let's get back to it. There we go. Double shot green. Straight on rag tip with squid. Got down the smaller hooks now. Let's get these bad boys off. Let's get them back. Let's hope we can get some biggies. There you go. Cutting another small green. Just on squid that time. Let's get them off. Let's get them back. We're still waiting for the biggies. We're still waiting for the raids as well. But happy days. We're not blanking, guys. We're absolutely getting we're absolutely getting smashed by bream but the two bigger baits that's got darker we seem to be doing all right we're not staying out a lot longer so it's just a little insight into um my day there we go just bream 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 look at that right let's go let's get him in got ourselves into Quite a good size um, doggy there. 
not a bad size at all literally straight in the side of the mouth and get them off we're getting back but yeah hopefully now the brain might start easing up we'll start getting into bigger stuff hopefully but we're enjoying it that's what it's about we're catching guys so the big baits are out and we're still going Right, it might flicker, guys, because we've got the LED lights inside the cabin, but we've had a good trip out. We've achieved two things, which is obviously show Malcolm's chart about our pool. So check out Chopsy Charters, guys, from Paul. I'll put a link in the description uh, to his YouTube. And to test my live stream out, obviously, when we get our boat out, we just wanted to try it as well. So we've achieved two things today. We've had a really good live stream. We've been out on the boat. We've shown the boat. We've had a few fish. The tide wasn't the best, but we seem to have done all right. Uh, Bream, Place, Gurnard, Smooth Hound, and a doggy. So I'll just let Milk have a quick goodbye. He's just starting to put his gear away now. I'll just wait for Malcolm to come back. But there's all the, all the gear all lit up. But we've had a... It's been a good afternoon, it's been a good few, like good five hours out, we've had a good laugh, so we've had a good live stream. All right, have a quick goodbye, Mel. See you later. Thank you very much for uh, coming along, Shane, and and the wife. No worries. You're in trouble. You're a star, Mel. <laughs> Keep bringing too right, much really appreciate that, buddy. Well, like I say, guys, don't forget, Chopsy Charters out of pool. I'll put a link in the description and Malcolm will be now linked into my about section as well. So if you want to chart a trip out, get in touch. Really appreciate you all guys. Massive thank you to Malcolm as well. We'll catch you on the next one guys. Many thanks.